capacity crowd waiting on the edge of his chair to see this huge finale to what has been a truly amazing week of beach volleyball here at the Vienna Major. These two teams have excelled. In the blue, it is Norway. In the white and red, it is Poland. Three of the most exciting young rising stars in the game today, along with one veteran on your screen there, Gregor Filiak, who's looking for Poland's first win of the 2018 season. Dane, it's tough to get away from Norway, who in a matter of moments have become the big favorites to take their second major gold of the season. Just incredible to see how much of a stir this team has caused. They have taken the volleyball world by storm. Now no one really wants to get in their way because they are just tearing through every team they seem to face in straight sets this weekend. They have been really on fire since Stad a few weeks ago, the major series event in Switzerland, then they got the European Championship, and now they are here in Vienna, poised to win yet another major series. There's the team comparison, one goal for Mole and Sorm of Norway, Brau and Fialek yet to win a gold medal. Remember, Fialek used to play with Marouge Prudel, they are actually we're in two Olympic games, so I feel like with all sorts of experience, but you're looking at the number three seeded team from Norway going up against the number 14 seed from Poland. Throw out the seeds, this is gonna be a war. <laughs> it truly is, and there is the Vienna Major Trophy that they're all playing for, and 40,000 US dollars to the winning team in prize money. Savidera Kakarete is our first referee from Colombia and that Martin Carter of Austria will be the second referee for this gold medal match due to some weather issues earlier today we've had to rejig the schedule just a little the bronze medal game will be coming after the gold medal match but Dane tell us a little more about the four players out on court looking for gold well first off a huge young blocker known as one of the best young blockers in the world and that is Mikel Brio, 23 years of age, 6'6", six six, 198 centimeters tall. He is a force to be reckoned with. If Poland is going to win today, he's going to have to have at least three blocks a set, I believe. His partner is the elder statesman on the court today. He is 31 years old. The other three players are under 25, if you can believe it. This guy is a legend in Poland volleyball. He can play spectacular defense in the backcourt. He's got experience two times to the Olympics, as I mentioned earlier, and he's fired up. He would love to break through, and what better way to do it with his new partner, Brian. On the other side of the net, the young guns that we have been talking about for the last couple of weeks. First stop is Anders Moll, 200 centimeters tall, six foot seven inches. He's a right-handed player, and he is athletic, very composed, and a crowd favorite. This guy gets his head and shoulders up over the net. He is really something to watch, playing with all sorts of confidence and poise throughout. His partner, Christian Sorum, is a defensive specialist. You'll always find him in the backcourt, 192 centimeters tall, six foot four inches. He's only 22 years of age. So Sorum is 22, Mole is 21, but this team is on an 18 match winning streak going back to Switzerland. And after I had an interview with Mole in the semifinals, he says they have a most wanted list, and the Netherlands were on it, they fell. You better believe that Poland is on it as well, because these two teams have met three previous times, and Poland has a two-to-one advantage. That could be one of the key factors if you're cheering for Poland. They have already beaten the Norwegian Rising Stars twice this season. Here we go. First service from Norway. Soren puts the ball into play. There's the first attack of the match from uh, the veteran on court in his uh, early 30s. That, of course, is Gregor Fielek with uh, one of the uh, youngest team age averages 
on a FIVB World Tour final for some time, Dave. Yeah, it's just incredible. The average age of the eight players in the final four, 25 and a half years old. So the youth movement is in full effect on the FIVB World Circuit. Well, a service error from Fialek there ties the scores at one all. It's a rally point score situation, whether you're serving or receiving serve, whichever side gets the ball down on the sand will score the point. It's a big serve from Moll, who's already right at the net. But that's a good shot. And uh, Gregor Fjellek is set in these early exchanges. Yeah, it's a bit of a different strategy that we're seeing right here. When they played Sharif and Tijan from Qatar, it was Ryle that was getting all the serves. This time around, a different strategy we're seeing from Norway, who have opted to go to Fiala. Service error from uh, Ryle. Tallest player uh, on the court at 6'6", uh, 198 six, centimeters. Now, Poland to show that they can side out as effectively off the head of Moll. Oh. Look at Sorum chase that ball down. No choice for Moll but to skyball it over. Fjallik. Again, Sorum is there. Oh, man, the ball just somehow is misjudged by Moll. He didn't realize it was on his side of the net to end the rally, but look at this, right off the top of the crown of the head of Mole, the ball goes up in the air, and somehow, Sorum's able to change directions, run down the ball, control it, and keep the rally alive. And then another beautiful dig, with the left hand, making it look easy, but it goes over to pole, and they have a free ball opportunity, and you didn't think that rally was gonna end like that. A miss of the ball, it ends in the court. Wow, some fireworks early. Gregor Fialek with service. Again, uh, Poland are targeting. Different play here. They're targeting Mole with the serve. In the last uh, match in their semi final, all the serves went to Sorum. The Vikings in the crowd are enjoying this. Not the biggest support for these Norwegian players, but they're making themselves heard. You know, I think this crowd has kind of adopted this Norwegian team because they are the team that eliminated the hometown heroes of Doppler and Horst. There's an ace right down the middle of the court. Some indecision from Poland, and it will cost them. Norway striking first, scoring a point while serving, just ripping it right in that indecision zone. Yeah, that was a spectacular service. Norway take the advantage at four to three. Here's Moll again. That one's way too big, way too long. Scores are tied at four all. Notice we switch sides at increments of seven, so no one has an advantage. It's interesting, they've taken down the flags in the stadium because of thunderstorms coming and going. But right now, very still down on center court. Oh, the block didn't quite work. Oh, it did. I thought that ball had gone out of play. I was wrong. Just Superb from Broil here. Just the outside of the line right there. Just touches. So Norway strikes first from the service line. But in terms of blocking, Broil strikes first for Poland. It's too deep. Scores leveled at five all. Here's a chance for Sorum to show us his serve here. Christian Sandley Sorum, just 22 years of age. That's a little bit of trouble right there. Oh, how about that? Ryle actually covered the ball with his foot. He got stuff blocked by ball. Look at the ball pop up with his foot and over. <laughs> you can use any part of the body in the sport of beach volleyball, and then Norway strikes immediately. So a bit of a shank pass. They try to recover, and look at this. You don't see that often. It's just a quick, lucky reaction, <laughs> and Mole putting it down 
to the sand. What a rally. Some great rallies already here in this gold medal final. I know soccer players who'd be proud of a shot like that. Great play from Brile. But the advantage is with Norway. Here's Brile again on the attack. Oh, Sorum was nearly there. Just a split second off kicking that out of the sand. Another solid serve drops in the middle. Bryle's able to get it up, and you can see how mobile Bryle is at 23 years of age. And he's 6'6, but he moves well for a big man. Fialek with service for Poland. Picked up by Sorum, and now finished off by Sorum. And a huge hit. Bouncing into the third row right there. Sorum showing that the vertical elevation. That's his favorite shot. Ripping it cross court. We've seen some very sharp angles out of him the entire week. And as Mol serves Fjellik. That seems to be the tactic for the Norwegian. Good play from Gregor Fjellik. I'm not so sure that's the best way to play at the moment, Dana. I would target Bryle with the service, but uh, Norway still with the advantage. Fjellik lets that ball drop just a little bit instead of trying to go over the block. He sneaks it right around that left arm of Mole. What a great shot by Fjellik. Scores all tied, seven all. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful weight on the ball, again from Sorum. Great shot right there. Getting up and just pinpointing it in the corner. Anders Mole putting up a beautiful set, Sorum executing. Close-up shot there of Bryle with his nose patched up after that big hit to the face yesterday. Fialek looks to score for Poland. Right on point. He's having a good start to this opening set. You know, Nick, I would agree with you. It might not be the way to go going to Fialek. Fialek knows the court well. He's got all sorts of shots. He can pinpoint and execute. And he's much more steady. Remember, he has the experience. Fjellet with the service error, but for me, he's the man of the match so far. I think they've really got to try everything they possibly can to keep this man out of the game. Don't serve him. Go with his partner, Brian. Here's Mol. Fjellet again is the service. Oh, that's a great play! Spectacular! The crowd love it. So do we. And the Vikings cannot believe it. Christian Sorum somehow gets underneath the ball with his right hand at the last second. And that's just volleyball IQ. Having the ability to go over, it's kind of a reverse poke shot that we see out of Mall. And most importantly, he judges it. That's easy to poke long and out of bounds. He judges it perfectly. It lands just a few centimeters inside the back line point for Norway. He enjoyed that. The break is already there. That one's too deep. Now we head to what we call a technical timeout at the halfway stage of each set. With a total of 21 points on the board. We're up to 19 now. And this is where either team looks to try and get that break on the other before we take a 30-second sit down. Brian. Well, he's there with his block, just can't control the angle of the ball. And this is a good break for Norway, did 11 to 9. The next point on the board will go in for that tech timeout. a big point from Mole at the, night, at the net. 12-9, three clear at the halfway point of the first set. The Norwegian youngsters looking good as predicted. 
so far over the net. Pressing, nowhere to go for Fialik. Check out Mole. Not only his head, but his shoulders, even with the top of the net, ceiling, perfect technique, and finally, it pays off to go to Fialik to get a block. Maybe that is the strategy. Remember, Fialik is just six foot one inches tall. Now look at the Jake jump nose. This is what happened to him yesterday, Dane. It was right in the face at full speed from Salgado. A bloody nose. I traveled on the bus with him this morning coming to work and uh, he said it's not that bad but it looks pretty scary here wow full impact you know if it grazes your face it's one thing this is directly in his face right on the glasses the glasses had to make that cut on the nose he says it's not nearly as bad as it looks but it did start bleeding in the semifinals where we had a stoppage with play so hopefully he doesn't have to get stitches on that cut Uncharacteristic cut shot into the top of the net. See, what happened is the strategy is to go to the shorter Fialik. And even though he's got the experience, he's got all the shots, when Moll broke through, got a block, now Fialik really thinking about that block. That caused that last error. See if you can put it right now. Oh, no, he cannot. Oh, Moll at the net is looking magnificent. 14 points to nine. And uh, it looks like Team Poland have seen enough. They've called the timeout already. They look strong going into the technical timeout. Came out of it absolutely focused. And they're starting to take control of this first set. Yeah, definitely in control now. Up by five points all of a sudden. And that's how this team does it to you. You kind of just going through the motions and you look up at the scoreboard and you're down three or four points. All of a sudden, four consecutive points for Norway. And now the damage is done, as we like to say. Now they can kind of settle in, receive serve, take care of business, where this Poland, they're gonna have to press. They're gonna have to figure out a way to score when they're serving the ball. As you quite rightly say, Dave, it, it happens so quickly. The speed that these uh, new stars play is quite impressive. Molly is absolutely uh, on fire. There's his mum, who uh, is coach as well as mum, a former volleyball player herself. I believe she played at the Atlantic Games Day yeah, in 1996. Marita Moll, he told me that this morning. I was surprised because I did not know that. 96, she got ninth place. So he's got that volleyball in his blood. <laughs> well, he's also got Poland phased here. Both players making uncharacteristic errors as they feel the heat from Norway. Now 15 points to nine. Six clear. Sorum, dare I say, can coast a little now. Good shot from the big pole. That was interesting why Brile got the serve right there. He just had a lot of success versus Fiala. A couple of blocks, an error, and then they relieve the pressure from him and go to his partner. Interesting move. Fiala with service of Poland. Going right down the line to Sorum. Sorum now on the attack for Norway. Nice little poke, but it's covered. Here's the set. Poland on the attack. But Moll is there with the block! <laughs> Spectacular! What a luxury that is. It looks like it's Poland's turn to score a point. They have an opportunity to rip the ball. Look how far over Moll is. It's just nowhere to go to Fialik. That is a textbook block. Technique, elbows locked out, fingers spread, pressing over the net, and impeccable timing. Confidence is so high now for Moll. His uh, self-belief couldn't be any higher. Oh, well, we say that, but he puts the ball right into the net. Service error. There's still five clear. We're heading to 21 points, if you're not familiar with the rules and regs of beach volleyball. But you need to be too clear when you hit 21, 21-19. 21 now, can Poland get back into this opening set? 
Brill with the service, this time to Mall. Beautiful shot, keeps it short. Poland trying to switch it up, but failing. Yeah, Mall gets up here, look, makes it look easy with a nice little roll shot. They're talking about his mom being a former player. You know, his father, Cora Mall, is their coach. And also, in this tournament, Hendrik Mole and Matthias Bernston played. Hendrik Mole is Anders' brother, and Bernston is his cousin. So it's a big family affair. His mom's here. His dad's here as coach. He's got a brother and a cousin who played in the qualification, didn't make it out. But, wow, he says that he's got a great team behind his team, and that's really elevated him and his partner Sorum to another level. Here's Fjellick with surf for Poland in the white and red shirts. They really do need to try and find some momentum here. Here's Moll with a lovely cut on the ball, but it's a good dig from Fjallik, who now looks to finish. He's caught off balance, over on two, is successful for Norway. 18-12. Well on their way to taking the first set, Norway. And you wouldn't get much of an argument if you said they're well on their way to taking the gold. Yeah, you take them one set at a time, and of course, Poland can turn it around, but it has been Norway in the driver's seat from the get-go. They struck about halfway through. It seems like that's a pattern with them. They did the same thing in the semifinals. Started to strike and make a difference about midway through the set. It's a nice back set, but Bryle puts too much cut on the ball. 19 to 12 now. What makes this team so effective is their patience and their composure. Remember, 22 and 21 years of age, but they're playing like they're 31 and 32 with the wisdom of an older player. Nothing has really been able to rattle them. Oh, there's no way that Fjallet can find space or light through that block of Moll. Set point. You can say this with ease. That this blocker mall is blocking better than anyone in the world at the current time. No question. It's a good deep float serve. Fialek tries again. The block is there from Moll, but Poland's still with the play. Nice set. Moll is there again. 21, 12. Extraordinary blocking skills from the Norwegian number one, Anders Moll. Super, Dane, you called it. He's the best in the world right now. He could become one of the best of all time if he can maintain this kind of form and skill level. Wow. I and mean, look how high he's elevating. He's still on the way up when he blocks that one with the left arm to the right arm back into the court. I mean, come on, five blocks in the set. Complete domination right now for Norway. This is how we thought it might go, but for them to come out and actually execute is just amazing. We mentioned it earlier, they're on an 18 match win streak going back to the major in Stad and the World, the uh, European Championships. There's the blocking, five blocks to one, one ace to zero. Those are the big categories you want to look at, blocks and aces. That's when you score while you are serving. Taking a look at Norway's serve placement, their strategy in the beginning was to go to Fialik. They tried Bryle a couple of times, but then they went back to Fialik, and that has been the magic. If they're not serving Fialik, they're going right down the middle of the court, making Bryle and Fialik make a decision. So on all fronts, Norway is just dominating the situation right here, and it's something we expected. Well, uh, the crowd are loving it. Six successful attacks, five successful blocks. Uh, Moll is by far the most, the most outstanding player on the court right now. Now what they need to do is pick it up where they left off. Keep that momentum and rhythm flowing as we start set two. It's a must-win situation for Poland to stay in the match. Perfect start. A serve from Gregor Fjellek. That's what it's going to take for Poland to get back in this thing. 
take a few risks, rip those serves. I like what I see right there, splitting the difference of the youngsters on the first point. Referee didn't like that. Wow, a double contact. Anders Moll, one of the best setters on tour, without question. This one gets a little caught in his hand. You, did, you see he didn't get the extension on his left hand, and he went straight down to the sand and put some sand in his hands and rubbed them together. Maybe he had a little moisture on his hands, and it slipped through. That can happen. Good shot from Moll. First point on the board for Norway in blue and red. They've already won the first set, 21 to 12. See, this is the thing with these youngsters. Mole gets called for a double contact on the set, but then he refocuses, gets ready for his next play and his offense. Power play from Brial here. Polish fans in the crowd giving as much support to Bryle and Fialek as they can. Winning this second set would force it to a third set tie break. That's uh, too long a game. And that service error stat is starting to climb just a little too high for Michael Bryle. Mole with service for Norway. <laughs> Christian Sor not fooled by the deep poke shot in the corner. Most defenders would have been leaning forward a little too much. He kept his balance, got the ball in the air, and then he transfers from defense to offense very smoothly. Scores all time. Oh, a little bit of confusion with the Polish players, which of the two was going to take the serve, but they get themselves out of trouble. Yeah, and that's a sign of a really solid team. But we've seen that a couple of times. Both players kind of in that passing position. It gets passed forward, and then it's almost an emergency for that setter to get there in time. That time, they manage it. Looks like the sunshine is back with us. Storm crowds have moved on. But there is plenty of lightning play from Norway. Sorum ties the scores at 4 all. Sorum gets up, rips it cross court. You know, Christian Sorum told me that both he and Moll went to a school called Top Volley in Norway, where they actually were at school. It's like a volleyball academy where they play in the morning, go to school throughout the day, and then they play again in practice and train in the afternoon. What a great setup. And so expect a lot more players to start coming out of Norway. You know, they ended a drought of 20 years the last time a Norwegian team won when they won in Stad just a couple of weeks ago. They saw him on the attack. That's what I like about the Norwegian play is their ability to read the game, read the shot. As Dane was saying when we watched them in the semi-finals earlier today, uh, they have skills that are way ahead of their years of age. Big power serve from Malt. He's already up at the net. And there's his block. Textbook. But such exciting play to watch. I mean, if you want to learn how to block, watch the video of Anders Moll. He gets his elbows not only locked, but close together, fingers spread out. It's like two pieces of wood, strong and over the net. Just nowhere to go if you're a hitter. Again, it's a big serve from Moll. Almost 100 kilometers per hour on the ball. The speed of the service is impressive, but the block now at seven is so impressive. 
It's becoming a blocking clinic out here. Anders Mole is administering the clinic, and right now, Brile is looking for answers. Well, Poland called the timeout. It's a 30 second break. Each team can call the timeout once per set. And uh, Poland, well, they need this one. I'm not sure whether they're going to recalculate the tactic or just try and break that flow, that rhythm, particularly of Mole. Big serve into the net, block, point on the board. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what tactic they can change other than being aggressive and trying to get that man right there, Mole, out of sync. Seven successful attacks, seven successful blocks so far. And the problem with Poland right now is they're, they're having trouble hanging on. When I say that, what I'm saying is that Norway's putting so much pressure on them and scoring so many points, they don't even have time to really focus on how they're going to manufacture some points. The wall that's been put up by Anders Moll is really impressive so far. Well, that's good news for Poland. It certainly justifies calling that timeout. It just breaks the rhythm, breaks the concentration. And uh, they get a very valuable point back on the board due to the service error from Moll. Here's Gregor Fialek of Poland. He too goes for the big jump serve. Moll on the attack. That ball's being hit at a very high level. That was a tight set, but Mole at six foot seven going up against the six six Brow. Look how high he hits that ball, avoiding the block just barely. Sorum will serve. Funnel weight. Again, they continue to target Fjallik. Going over on two does not work for Bryle. Oh, it's a good save. But it's a free ball for Norway. Here's a set once again for Soren. Goes cross court. Three points clear now, Norway. What I noticed from this team, this young superstar team from Norway, is they do not let two opportunities go by. If they don't put the ball down the first time, I mean the second time, forget about it. They're coming in, they're taking note, they're being very definitive, and they are just solid in that way. They make you earn everything. They've never beaten Poland in FIVB World Tour play just once in their careers. Oh, Mold just got a bit out of sorts there. Yeah, I think he tried a little trick drop of the arms. He's up and he drops the arms to get out of the way. He thinks maybe a poke shot's coming and it will go right to his partner, Sorum. <laughs> but you can't jump that high. Look at him. He's ducking and his head is still over the net. It's pretty ridiculous how this guy is soaring at the net, making it look easy. Brial for Poland. Float serve. Here comes Malt. Perfect timing. Perfect weight on the ball. Great shot again. This lad could do no wrong at the moment. Here comes Malt and he cuts it cross court. You know, after high school, he said he started playing professionally in Europe, indoor volleyball. He was an outside hitter. And he actually said twice while he was competing that. He actually had one of his lungs collapse, and he had to be taken away in the ambulance, taken to the hospital. It happened one other time, and he has since had a surgery to fix it and has no ailments whatsoever. So he's a 100%, but Anders Moll told me that was a bit of a scary situation. That's why they call them the Vikings, Day. They're tough, the Norsemen, the men of uh, Norway. And uh, it's a very little bit of luck from the net here, I'd say, for Sorum. 
but it happens so frequently in the game of beach volleyball. It's something that it's a skill and drill that the players often practice. Heading into the tech timeout. Oh, not quite. Looked like uh, Mole got that one on the side of the face. Smart option play by Fialik. Putting that ball up at the net for his partner to take charge. There's the block and the cover by Mole. Then Poland gets a free ball. And Fialik putting the ball right up at the net. Ryle tooling the block of Mole and out of bounds. Another service error from Michael Bryle. That gives that Norway 12-9, halfway point of the second set. And once again, this is the same position they were in in the first game, three clear at the halfway point. They wrapped up the opening set 21-12, to and they look good to do exactly the same here in the second. Anders, Anders Moll has been absolutely on fire at the net. Seven stuff blocks. Let's take a look at his technique, his movement, pressing it straight over the net. Right here. He gets so far over the net that it just starts to cut off all of your angles. No matter where you go, there's nowhere to go. He's going straight down. So the seven blocks, even if it's hitting both of his arms, he's been successful getting a great look at the clinic that is being put on by Anders Moll. Such a great player and definitely the best blocker in the world at this moment. Can he sustain it? And Dane, we all know the vertical leap is the key part to success. But what, I, what impresses me the most is the angles that he gets with his body and arms when he makes that huge vertical leap. Yeah, and those angles are due to you want to disguise what area you're taking and make a big move at the very last second, something he's very good at doing. He starts in a neutral spot. You don't know if he's going to block your line or your angle. He makes that move at the last second. That's what makes him so effective. Seven blocks so far for Anders Moll. And he may well go into double figures by the time this match is over. At the halfway point of the second set, it is a 12-9 to Norway. They've won the first set, which means Poland have to win this second set to take it to a third set tie break. But the way Norway are playing right now, I don't think you'd want to bet against them. Oh, absolutely not. We haven't seen a team on fire like this in years. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, everything's just starting to gel for this team. Everyone thinks they came out of nowhere, of course, but it's been years in the making. They partnered up for the first time in 2016, and they played in Klagenfurt. They ended up getting a fifth place, and they knew immediately that the chemistry was spot on. Oh, that's a great save from Fjellik. And uh, a good put away from his partner, uh, Michael Bryle there. That's a little more like the play that we saw in the semi-finals from Poland when they comfortably got the better of Qatar. Absolutely, Bryle right there executing and putting it away. The, the big difference right now, I'll tell you what the big difference is. Poland has not been able to deal with the block of Anders Moll, but Norway has been able to get around Ryan. It's a very good point. Here's Fjallik with service, serving to Sorum. There's a set from his partner. It's not the best, but look how he gets himself out of trouble. Moll had put that a little too tight on the net, but Sorum still has the skill set to make it count. Yeah, he does it by getting his feet under the ball. Even though it's short, you see I have that little quick step to get under the ball. Instead of broad jumping, he gets his feet under the ball. That allows him to shoot the ball around the block. Ooh, almost there. Not quite block number eight. Big point for Poland. They're battling now. It's good to see the Polish side 
really trying to raise their game to stay in this match. Yeah, this Polish team is really solid. You'd like to see them make a run here and really make things interesting. It's a wonderful dig from Fialek. Oh, but there it is. Block number eight. Block number eight, number three in the second set. So Anders Mull almost grabs that ball and throws it down. Poland tries to cover. Look at he gets both hands on it, pushing him down. And this guy is so confident, so relaxed, and just continuing to execute some spectacular blocks. Mon with the service into the net. Easy point on the board for Poland. 13 to 14. Fiolek with a good serve to Sorum. Sorum now. Belts that ball down to the feet of the server, Gregor Zapgalek. Good classic play, this from Norway. Fialik has to be thinking, what can we do to slow this team down? You know, I, I believe Brial needs to get a couple blocks, at least a couple blocks to get him back into this. And maybe a couple defensive plays. That's dug up and hit out of bounds. So right there, a solid rally back and forth on both sides of the net. And finally, Poland has a ball roll their way. It seems like everything going the way of Norway. And that ball just out of bounds. So maybe Poland can make a run right here. It's getting to be crunch time. We got to start playing with even more sense of urgency. Sorum again attacking. Sides out nicely, quickly, effi effective and efficiently, I'm trying to say. They only finished their semi final day in the Norwegian lads at just after 4 p.m. There's been all kinds of delays and schedule issues uh, due to the thunder and lightning storms here at the Rebel Beach Arena on the uh, Danube Island, and, but uh, Poland finished theirs nice and early this morning. They've had a good four hours break in comparison to a 40-minute break for the Norwegian lads. Yeah, I think we were talking amongst ourselves after that first round of the first semi-final, and we were thinking, you know, Poland, they're done early. There's going to be a weather delay. They can sit around and scout and be really relaxed. And we thought they might have had an advantage coming into yep. this final. But the youngsters proving that they don't need a lot of rest. And when you're 22 and 21 <laughs> years of age, you're ready to go. Fjallik with the service. <laughs> that is a very hard hit from uh, Moll, and that's why you don't serve the Norwegian number one. Did we get a clocking on that last hit? I think it was the hardest hit we've seen in this final. 102 kilometers, yeah. I hadn't seen a ball hit <laughs> quite that heavy all day long, and good thing we got that on the graphic. Anytime you're clear at 100 kilometers per hour, that ball is blazing. at 62 mph. Soren with the float serve. Cross court, good shot. Picking his game up now. Michael Royal. Coming strong in the latter part of this second set, Poland. They're going to have to work hard for this Norway now if they're to sort it and settle it in two rather than going to the tiebreak. Brian will serve. That's way too deep. Perhaps that's been the weak link for Poland. Brian has missed so many of his serves, Dave. Oh, there. 
there's a trickler over the top of the net. Well, the first thing Moll does to the opposition is say, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's wow, beautiful a little trickler. <laughs> if he did mean to do it, it's pretty skillful. I mean, every, everything really going their way right now. And, and they're making their own luck. You yeah. know, when you play that good, things go your way. Oh, that's a shank serve receive. No, Poland in trouble. Oh, but they get themselves out of it. Well played, Michael Bryle, almost making up for his uh, poor receive of the service. Nice little roll right there in front of Christian Sorum. And Bryle and Fialik are trying to make it happen right now. But it's been tough. Points have been really stingy. Norway hasn't given them anything. Poland are now serving to try and stay in the match. His Sorum. Match point for Norway. The Vikings are on their feet. We're just a few moments away from a celebration. That winning streak. Now, just one point away from going to 19. And uh, Norway are on the verge of winning their second major of the season. And second major in a row. It's just an incredible run right now. We haven't seen this in years. And they are completely dominating. And just one point away from making it happen. Christian Sorum with service. The number two for Norway. Jump float to Fjelle. That's been the tactic throughout the match. Poland attack. The block is there. And can you believe it? That is the way. That's how they won the first set. That's how they win the second set. That's how they win the match. Absolutely brilliant play from Norway. Sorum in the back of the court and Moll at the net. Outstanding. Nine blocks, my calculation, for Anders Moll. There's his mother and coach, former Norwegian Olympic beach volleyball player back in 96. The Norwegians win back-to-back -back majors on the FIVB World Tour for 2018. Winning in Gestad just a couple of weeks ago gave them the confidence to take on the world. And they have done it here today. It's another $40,000 payday for these young Norwegians, but perhaps most importantly, they've taken down some of the biggest teams in the business, beating the Netherlands in the semis earlier today, and now the rising stars out of Poland. And what a run it's been. Winning the major in Gestalt, Switzerland, then the European Championship title, now the big one, the Vienna major here in Austria. This is the winning point. Up goes Moll. A masterclass in blocking he's given us from start to finish of this two set to zero victory. 21 12, 21 to 17. Spectacular. And maybe a lot of the glory and headlines will point towards that Moll's blocking. But his partner, Christian Sorum, played superb defense, was all over the court. They didn't get much of a break less than an hour after winning their semi-final. Exhausted, maybe, but the exhilaration and the entertainment that these Norwegian boys have brought to the centre court here in Vienna today is quite exceptional. There's the trophy. 
Gestad was special, but with the huge crowds here in Vienna, this one must be the highlight of these youngsters' season so far. Anders Moll and Christian Sorum win the 2018 Vienna Major. Oh, that's the shot that will be on the front page of the Norwegian newspapers tomorrow morning. A big hug from Mum. She's a tough coach, we're told, as well. And look at this. Uh, a backflip and a back roll. A little bit of emotion from uh, Merita Mulder. The boys have done it for a second time of asking. Let's go down to Dane, who's already with the victorious Norwegian duo of Moll and Soren. Yeah, da haben wir noch kein Problem. Das Mikrofon ist ausgeschalten. Aber das kriegen wir auch noch hin. Daran soll es nicht scheitern. Jetzt geht's. Congratulations on your victory here. It's an unbelievable run for you. You win in Stad a few weeks ago, then you win the European Championships. You win here, that's 19 consecutive matches. You only dropped one set. Tell us how is the chemistry and the magic being created by this duo? <laughs> I don't know, we just uh, have a lot of fun when we play volleyball. Uh, on the court and off the court, we have a lot of fun and we just enjoy the sport so much. The big difference today, nine stuff blocks for you. In the commentary booth, I had to say it, you were putting on a blocking clinic. Where did you learn to put up those blocks? I don't know. Um, my father, he told me a lot. Our coach, my father. <laughs> um, uh, and I also have, um, I don't know, I have, I've been playing against a lot of players and I've, I know their tendencies and I try to just use my reach and uh, it works sometimes. <laughs> I know this is one of my favorite places in the world to come, but how was the hospitality and what did you think about this incredible crowd here in Vienna? Uh, Vienna is uh, for sure amazing. One of the best places ever. We really love to play in Austria. Thank you so much. You guys, congratulations. Go celebrate and keep the streak alive. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Das sind sie, die Champions. What a lovely sign-off from Dane there. Keep the streak alive. 19 unbeaten win streak for the Norwegian players. Now, the record is held by Rogers and Dahlhauser on their men's side of the FIVB World Tour, 26 and there's no reason why they can't go to 26 before this season is out. Uh, the next uh, big match for the young Norwegians, of course, will be the Hamburg World Tour Finals in a couple of weeks' time. Look at the uh, stats on the blocks. Nine blocks to one. That's what made this such an emphatic and entertaining win for Norway and the Polish team. Well, they won't be too disappointed to have come away from this uh, Vienna Open with a silver medal for Michael Brill and Gregor Fjallik. It is still their best result of the season so far. But it's all about Norway. The Vikings have taken control of the center court with a brilliant gold medal victory here today. From Nick Fellows and the Olympic champion, Dane Blanton, many thanks for your company. It's goodbye for now.